Good morning. Morning, everyone. It's always so nice to catch up with him, isn't it? The morning is always a bit of laughter and stuff like that. It's like, look at him. It's so cheerful. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, good. So, you know, this is the recording for Tuesday. So we've done it a few days early because on Tuesday, when it shows, you're already on holidays. I'll be on holidays and I'm going to be relaxing. I'm going to be down on the, maybe I'll have a walk on the beach and I'll be tuning in and see this message. Yay. <laughs> so you're going to the beach? Yes, we'll have some time on the beach and then we'll have some time uh, together with the family. Do you know, the, during this lockdown and that closed so many opportunities. So all of the uh, big events, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, all of those yeah, yeah. kind of things. They were all shelved because we couldn't get together. Yes. So now our youngest is having his birthday and uh, it's like bringing everyone together. So yeah, we're all, yes. we've got a unit where we all are coming together and having a, a catch up on what we've missed nice, out on nice. this year. So Penny would love that too. Oh, yeah, she... oh, yeah, yeah. Holidays. So why do we need holidays? Oh, Edgar. Rest. <laughs> you know, rest for the weary. You know, how... Well, you know, this this year has really just been taxing, isn't it? And you're just kind of like delay, delay, because, you know, we need to be more. We need to do more. We need to be in more. It's like everyone, uh, you know, it's it's uh, there's a lot of giving, a lot of giving. Yes. And you need a time sometimes where you say, look, time out. I just need to rest and refill. You've just been on a holiday. Did that refill you? Yes. So, um, you know, two weeks you know that's not a long time it takes you a week to actually slow yeah. down yeah. but you know you you lay down i guess the burden of responsibility and busyness um you become de-stressed mm. so and i think that that can be very godly as well because sometimes we take on responsibility that is not ours so and and holidays you just give it back to god you know you're responsible for that and you know, hopefully you take some of that restfulness even before God, you take that out of your holidays as well. So into the oh, workplace again. Yeah. Look, that's one of the things that I often think in um, Isaiah is a, is a good holiday text, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Isaiah uh, 40 verse 31 yes. and says, you know, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Or those who are going to rest in the Lord, yes. you know, time to, yeah. rest, you know, rebuild your strength renew their strength and they will soar like eagles on wings of eagles and they will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not be faint so in all of the other ones weary faint you know all of this kind of stuff where you sort of think oh so we do need infilling and sometimes you know you need to just get away from it all and let god speak to you yes. and fill you yes ready for the next lot. yeah and and i, I got another one from psalm 37 um, um, I think from verse 5. I oh, know from verse 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. And sometimes you need a holiday to get to that place. Be still before the Lord. Wait patiently. Because we're always busy. Yeah. We're not still and uh -huh. we don't wait. No. But it says, be still before the Lord. Wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes, refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads, leads only to evil. Mm. So in the circumstances that we find ourselves, yeah. Yeah. You know, that is an interesting yeah. one. And it says, don't fret, don't, don't worry yeah. about it. Rest in me, and find a renewing strength. And you, you know, you, you see the culture and the world going one way and you know, it can be upset. Like, you know, the Australian Prayer Network put out a newsletter and you know, China, the persecution of Christians in China is just unreal. The, the, the latest one was, you know, they had an 84-year-old person. I had a picture of Jesus and the communist government takes down the picture of Jesus and puts it of the Chinese Premier Xi Ping, puts it up there and says, you pray to him. Like Probably at the gun, eh? Hey? Yeah, like, yes. Or you don't get social security, security benefits and all of that and... You know, so, um, and, you know, plenty of instances in Australia as well. You know, Margaret Court, I heard, like, they're feeding the poor on the streets, whatever. And, you know, there, there's a grant available to get money for that. And, and even though it has nothing to do with 
feeding the poor. It's non-discriminatory. Everyone that is hungry gets fed because Margaret Court got a biblical stance on same-sex marriage. She cannot receive grant money. No. Yeah, like, you know, that's how it, how it goes. Like, um, yes, maybe Christians shouldn't be dependent on any grant money, whatever, but it's that is discrimination for a, a Christian stand. And like, yeah, and there's lots of other stuff happening. I think Hillsong, they're now approaching the government and saying, you know, it's actually the places of worship should open up again as well. If you can have weddings of 500 people in a, in a, in a narrow space, why can't you have worship services? Mm. Because the, the restrictions there are mm. only up to 100. And they have a building that can seat 4,000 people. And so why can you have 500 at a wedding? And, you know, in, in pubs you can have more and whatever. Why not in churches? Mm. That's discriminatory mm. against churches. And, you know, you've got all these issues. And God says, be still. Yeah. Wait patiently for me. Don't worry about it. Like, wait on me, you know. But that is hard, isn't it, Edgar? I, I've got to pull that one out of you. Yeah, because the thing is that, you know, Sunday after Sunday, we're patient. We're obedient to yeah, the, the, yeah. You know, the laws of the yeah. land. And yes. that, you know, decree. Yes. Yes. We can only have 70 in there. You know, you come to church and you have to register and you go through the whole thing and you come in and... You know, uh, we've got, you know, Shelley's doing such a great job with Sarah. So we're saying counting and saying, yeah, no, yeah, no more yeah, can yeah, come in. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, so we're doing all the obedient things. We're doing this in patience. But we would love everybody else to come back in again. And yes. I think there are a lot of people who are waiting patiently for when is this going to open so we can come back into it. Because there is something amazing when when we all come together in God's presence. And yes. then we saw like eagles again. We will get refreshed. Yeah. And so sometimes it's in worship that we're craving yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And other times it's just because of the work that we need to have some time out. And we crave this infilling. Yes. And I think for everybody here too today, you know, it's like, you know, find places of infilling because yes. Yes. you don't want to run dry yeah. and then be on the side of the road and get all huffy and puffy about yeah, yeah. about things aren't working and yeah. you get all depressed about about you know where is God when you need him yeah, and yeah. all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Rather than constantly going back, I need to be refilled. Yeah, be and still with rest. And wait on yeah, it starts with rest. Uh, yes, we we need that rest where, where we actually focus on God and his goodness and the hope that comes. And you know, I was reading in my own you know, devotion time from Daniel. And, you know, God put Menetekel, you know, this mm. this writing on the wall and, and the king was deeply disturbed by it. And Daniel gave him an interpretation and basically was judgment on the king. I think the king was almost immediately removed, but the judgment on the kingdom took took years. Yeah. And, and again, that that's another one, like, if you were there, if you were Daniel, you know, it didn't happen immediately that, you know, the, the country was overrun by another nation, whatever. So God sometimes he works in decades, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like he, he judged Jerusalem. Jesus judged Jerusalem when he, when he came there and it took another 40 years <laughs> for it to happen. Like, yeah. you know, in 70 AD, it got completely reduced to rubble as he prophesied. But 40 years waiting is a long time. But isn't that wonderful? Because God actually always has a time of of grace, saying, "Look, you can, yes, you, you know this. This uh, isn't there a passage that says that you know, just God's delay is not because you know he's yeah. you know, how does it go? I uh, can't come to think of it at the moment. But it's almost like saying, don't think of God's delay yes. as being something that is yeah, you know, yeah. almost like God is absent minded of it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's actually doing because of grace. He wants everybody to yes. be saved yes. out of it. Or yes, yeah." And, you know, that's another one. So you can be still, you can be restful before God. And, you know, it says, don't, don't become angry. Don't become and, angry. And frustration yeah. is a type of anger as well. And yeah. it's not godly because God loves all people on earth. He, he loves yeah. the evil people as well. Yeah. He, he loves everyone. Rain falls and, on the just yes, and on the unjust. And, and there's yes. this time of repentance for everyone. And so when we become still before God and wait on him, we actually, I think he wants us to share his heart and actually start becoming loving to everyone, praying for everyone. This is a time for repentance, yeah. time for everyone to experience God's goodness. I love your sermon series when you had it um, on Sabbath rest. Yes. And one of the things that I remember there is also, maybe you said it, maybe it was my thinking, I don't yeah. know, but what I remember is that 
that it's also an issue of trust that God has got it. That yes. it's not always yeah, yeah. us doing yeah, everything, yeah. but yes. you know, it's like, rest, let yes. me just you know, do something. And, and yeah. it, says, it says here, I, I do like it, do not fret when men succeed in their ways. Mm. And at the moment, you know, on so many levels, they seem to succeed in their ways. The bullies seem to win. You know, the godlessness, wickedness seems to win. Like, I don't want to make it heavy, but you know, in, in Queensland, and I'm just, it's on my heart right now. Like, you know, we have abortion laws in Queensland. This is where we live, where you can kill a child in the womb five minutes before they're born. Mm. That's, that's wicked. Mm. That's godless. Yeah. That's, you know, wicked schemes succeeding. And, mm. like, and, and, you know, God says, don't be angry. Keep loving people. Be still before me. Rest before me. And you, you can leave the responsibility to, to me. Righteousness will succeed in the end. And that is, that is such a good place to be when you, uh, you know, look, sorry to say, but you know, so often we get trained in our thinking, if it's going to be, it's up to me. And God's word says, no, it's not up to you. Yes. Um, yes, you can see all these things around you and you might think, oh, you know, I've got to fight against the, you know, whatever it is. But God is also in the picture. Yes. And he's grieving for that same yeah. thing that's happening there. Yeah. He's not outside of it. He's right into yeah. it. And to say, okay, rest. I think sometimes, as I often said about spiritual warfare, the first lesson is get out of the way. Yeah, get out. Because yes. then it's like, you know, the so that, that God can actually take the yeah. lead. You and know? and God, God says, don't fret. You know, it's actually not up to you to, to undo it. Everything is in my timeline. I'm actually in charge. Yeah. So don't fret. Trust me. Yeah. And good. have a holiday. And have a holiday. And don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Man, that was another heavy morning chat. Well, we, maybe, we had a few heavy ones. Maybe I'll take a rest from yeah, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> um, when you come back, we've got to do it some lighter ones again. But, um, man, it's election time. It's, it's issues coming up. So it's good. Have a good holiday. Thank you, Edgar. Best wishes from us to Penny as well. Will do. And you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye.